Hey guys, Javano here with my first video of my new Minecraft series, Redstone for Dummies. This series is about redstone and pretty much everything about it. I'll be teaching you everything from what it is, where to find it, to some serious uses for it, like my 7 seg display I was working on. This is just uh, redstone dust I'm throwing around here. You'll find it by mining redstone ore, which I'll be showing you in a second. Redstone ore is not found as deep as diamond, but it's deeper than coal or iron, so... It's relatively deep down, but it's not insanely deep, if you know what I mean. But if you're wanting to find a lot of it, you're going to probably want to go to pretty much the bottom. This is not exactly what it would look like. Well, nothing here is exactly what it would look like on a uh, regular Minecraft world, because I'm running SMP's texture package. So things are going to look a bit different, but... To mine um, redstone ore, you either need a diamond or a steel pickaxe. So, if you don't have either of them, it's just not going to drop anything for you. And when you mine one of these, it'll drop about four or five of these little guys for you. And the redstone ore itself comes in bunches of anywhere. I've seen it from one block to about five blocks or something like that. And that can get you a decent amount of redstone ore, or redstone dust if you find a large vein of it. But now that we got these guys, they may seem really useless if you don't know anything about redstone. And right now they are useless, because it's missing the main part of the component, which I guess would be considered the battery of a regular circuit. And that is the redstone torch. And to make a redstone torch, you just take sticks. It's like a regular torch, only instead of coal, you put redstone dust. So uh, you can make it without a 3x3 three three crafting grid, but it's... The only difference is with uh, these, as opposed to regular torches. Regular torches, you do this. like You get one stick, one coal, and you get four torches, so it's a 1 to 4 ratio. These, is just a 1 to 1 ratio, so you get... A lot less these than you do regular torches. And these torches, they don't emit as much light as regular torches do. See, just doesn't compare, which is kind of annoying, but I understand why he did it. Just so this couldn't be the end all replacement for regular torches. But there, so basically, the difference between, well, I guess, just what this does, period, is it kind of gives power, if you will, to the redstone. See if I remove this, it just turns dark again. Yeah. And um, obviously most people watching this won't really understand what the point of this is, but in future videos I'll be getting to that and you'll actually understand why these are so vital to the redstone whole deal. Because you'll learn that, say, putting this up here, and oh, that was the wrong one. Something like that is different than, say, if you do the same thing only just on a single level because of things called logical gates. And I'll be teaching all you that nice programming language in future videos. Because this is basically just programming in a visual form. So, yeah, that's about it for the basics of redstone. So, uh, stay tuned for some more detailed stuff. Should get a lot more interesting. See you.